how's it going? So today is that day. As I told you guys, I was a little bit nervous and anxious to go to my second opinion of the chemotherapy. I'm on my way now. My second opinion is with uh, MSK Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. It's a little bit nerve-wracking if I'm honest with you guys because last time I went to the chemo appointment where they told me like what type of chemotherapy I would get and all of that like it was a crying bomb I just couldn't stop crying I cried that entire day that, that entire day after that evening I cried the whole entire day um, the following day and it was just like really sad I guess I wasn't prepared for what I was about to hear and the different side effects that chemo does have and I don't know maybe right now I'm a little bit more prepared to hear this information from the doctors because I already went to my first um, opinion but you know still I'm like a little bit like oh my god what are they going to tell me like what do I need how many sessions do I need like and you know how are the side effects gonna affect me my life and everything that I that I do and my mom life and all of that right and my girls so that's kind of hard because to imagine your life without energy for a period in your life when you have like kids to attend and you know and yourself and it's just a lot and it's just very depressing I think when you think about it when you you know I, I hate to say that word but I think it's very depressing when you think about it um, and again guys I I'm, it's not to say that if anyone here has been recommended chemotherapy and you guys want to do it have decided to do it have had that conversation with your doctor and are, and are you know doing it right away go ahead do it I'm not here to tell anybody don't go to your chemotherapy or don't take it or hey try the healthy stuff first and then go to chemo no this is just what I'm doing I'm sharing my story with what I'm doing in this journey and please I, I want you to feel comfortable and to do things the way you feel comfortable with the conversation and decisions that you guys have made with your own doctor um, I feel very blessed to have met the doctors I've met so far um, and to have my conversation with God that I've been having in regards to at what speed I'm moving and different things that I have to do and, and get done in regards to starving the cancer but yeah everybody please like feel comfortable to treat a diagnosis such as cancer as you wish as you have decided I'm not here to tell anyone how to actually do it so that's my disclaimer anything that you guys see on my channel regarding the foods that I consume my supplements and my regimen I'm just sharing my story please do as you and your health professionals have discussed that's my disclaimer I'm not a doctor I'm just a person going on a journey with the cancer diagnosis so yeah guys I'm taking you along with me today before during and after um, the appointment so we'll be here and um, I'll let you guys know how it goes throughout the whole thing um, I'm pretty early so I'll show you guys where I am in a little bit and uh, let's let's see how it goes because I just you know want all of this to go away sooner than later and actually today for this appointment I'm going to request um, I'm gonna request to the oncologist if it's possible to again get tested my blood test my CA 125 LDH and HCG just to see the tumor markers how they are going um, that's very important to me to see how those things are going I actually have an MRI coming up 
towards the end of this month and I have a few videos to do for you guys regarding results that I got for the CAT scan and my previous um, uh, cancer markers, the CA125, LDH, and HCG. I think I touched upon it briefly in some of my videos, but I want to do an actual uh, video explaining to you guys what happened there. All right, guys, so I'll see you very soon, and wish me luck. This is my second opinion chemotherapy appointment. See you soon. Hey, guys, how's it going? So this video is not easy to make because it's about chemo. Um, I met with the doctors yesterday at MSK. Memorial Kettering Sloan Center and we had a conversation about you know my diagnosis and a conversation about why chemo would be good for me like how it can benefit me and you know the success rate of you know completely curing the disease where you wouldn't have a reoccurrence in the future and we spoke about everything we spoke about the side effects that you would get from chemo, like hair loss, um, how one of the drugs is actually, you know, you're putting into your into your veins um, platinum, cisplatin, I think that's the one that is called, and all the different things that it would do to you and how they would have to monitor your kidneys, um, your lungs, your hearing, because these different chemo drugs um, have different effects on your body and you know it varies from person to person but more or less you get the same type of side effects um, it was not easy to be in the room and it's pretty overwhelming because it's a lot to think about because you know the minute you make a decision to start chemo you're basically putting your life on pause for some time um, they said no, that, you know, you can continue your normal life, but, um, I mean, do you guys think so? Like, you can continue your normal life? I don't really think. I mean, you can try, but, like, how normal can you continue it if you don't have all that energy that you used to have? And it's just a lot of information. Um, I, I feel like I'm going quick with you guys here in this video. Um... Maybe I can do a longer one, but just to like give you guys an update of like what they told me. And um, the interesting part was that the doctor said that if I don't get chemo, there's a chance that I can get a reoccurrence of having another mask, God forbid, in the future, or you know some sort of reoccurrence with the type of cancer that they diagnosed me with, which was um, ovarian cancer, but the specific type, this germinoma. Um, they said, yeah, like if I don't get the chemo, it's possible you can get a reoccurrence in, you know, a year or two or three. Um, but he also said that chemo is not guaranteed. So even if I do the chemo, I could, God forbid, have a reoccurrence in two or three years. And if I don't have one in five years, then, you know, that's it. You're cancer free for five years. There's no evidence of the disease. Um, so it puts me into a place of like, if I get it, great. We'll kill everything off now, even my good cells. Um, if I don't get it, and, it, and if I get it, like, oh, there's still a possibility in the future. And then if I don't get it, like, oh, there's still a possibility in the future. Um, of course, chemo is very strong. So, you know, if I decide to do the chemo, like everything dies, good cells, bad cells, and I feel like, you know, there's enough research and evidence that, you know, um, people have had a success rate in this, right? <sighs> but it's very hard that it's either like, if you do or you don't, it's like, either way, you're, you're sort of like, I don't want to use terrible words, but <laughs> either way, it's like, you still don't know what's going to happen in the future. Either way, it's like, oh my God. So I'm taking it slow with making that decision. I'm, I'm taking it very slow. Um, it's not an easy decision to make, 
but um, the doctors suggested that I start with the different tests that you have to take before getting chemo. So at least when I say I'm ready to go and start the chemo, then all the tests will be done. Um, like this is my life we're talking about here. Like it's not another person's life, it's my life. And I know some of you are like maybe thinking like, oh, just like take the chemo. And I know that and, and I hear your concern, but you know, I, I'm gonna be the one taking in these drugs and and feeling how it's going to make me feel. And it's a scary and very, it's a very scary and big step decision to make. It's not easy at all. Like it's not something that you can just, and I, I don't wanna die. And, you know, and it's just very hard, a very hard decision to make. And then the interesting part is that, you know, we spoke to the doctor and there's not a way to see disease in my body now, you know, because I don't know if I told you guys in one of the shorter videos, I meant to do like a longer video on the results. Um, but three of my tests, my blood test came back and the HCG and the LDH went back to normal. You know, I had that done after surgery and I got the results maybe like three weeks ago or two, like two-ish. Um, and then I had a CAT scan and, you know, they, they put in the sugar into my body, the glucose or I forget what, what they call it specifically, but I know you know, they put that in your body, the contrast, contrast and it's supposed to like light up any cancer cells in the CAT scan. So nothing lit up in the CAT scan. Thank God, nothing lit up. And that for me is like a miracle. But at the same time, the doctors don't like share that view with me of the miracle because they said that there could be cancer so small that wouldn't light up in a CAT scan. It could be so microscopic. And then that's the reason they want to give the chemo for any microscopic cancer. So, and based on, you know, the research they've done and everything, then based on my diagnosis, that is the chemotherapy they recommend, and that is what they recommend for me. Um, I definitely have to, like, think about this and how I'm going to go about this. You know, if I want to give myself some time or if I just want to jump right in. It's not an easy decision to make and you know I'll keep you guys updated and informed about this whole thing that's happening um thank you guys for all of you that have been supporting me sending me messages you know anywhere like through here instagram um the people in my life that have been there for me who are actually supporting me no matter what you know, I'm grateful for those moments too and, and for you that have been there for me, for you guys that have been there, you guys know who you are. Um, those of you that have been there for me, whether it was after the surgery or like throughout all these appointments, throughout all of this that's been so much for my mind or like just supporting me in any way, I truly appreciate it because going through a, a diagnosis like this, like I think your mind is clouded sometimes and a bit heavy <sighs> and it's a lot to take in and you know I'm trying to do the best that I can with the information that I find and research that I do to see if there's something that that I can do you know while you know I decisions are made and things like that because I don't want to just sit there and wait you know and like die or something like I want to do something for my health and my body and my mind so, um, yeah, um, it's not easy, guys, but I'll keep you guys informed and thank you for being there for me. It's not, um, it's not an easy decision to make or anything like that. And let's see how things go. Let's keep fighting, you know, not giving up, staying positive, and getting done what we need to do. So, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Today is, uh, today, 
yeah today is thursday have an amazing day and let's continue to love each other to show each other support we don't know what people are going through and you know it's good to be kind um and as always guys if you found any value to this video please like subscribe and share so we're able to help more people i'll see you guys very soon <laughs>